welcome to the object oriented programming in python and in this episode we are going to talk about the property decorator we have seen how we can use decorators but it's a inbuilt decorator property decorator which is very very useful to demonstrate that i'm going to create a class of payment simple class and defining in it so here i'm just going to get the payment method so let's say self dot method is equal to whatever the method given by the user so like this okay so let's say pay is equal to payment and i'm going to say it's a stripe payment method super easy so let's try to print pay dot method and we know it's a stripe super easy but suppose by some means user can change this method which is now paypal how about this let's run hmm it's paypal why it's there we don't want this to be changed so what we can do we can simply check one thing let's create a function get method and this is just going to return self dot method and now let's say method and get method let's run it okay so people and people obviously because we have changed the method but we don't want this to be happened so what we can do we can just make this underscore underscore method that me this means it's now a private method so what if i just go and run it it says payment has no attribute called method why is there okay so because here so let's run it once more and yes stripe is there and what if the user has changed this payment dot method it's not going to affect because we know there is no method attribute so what if suppose user has changed underscore underscore method it's not again going to affect because this is private but still the problem here is user need to use this method get method i want to just say pay dot method and this will result the original method it is now giving this method but i don't want to use this kind of notation so the simple thing we can use here is a property decorator so i will say property decorator name is property and instead of get method i will simply call it method so this means now this property decorator makes this method as an attribute so let's comment this people and run it yeah you can see it's you it's saying that payment dot method is stripe we don't need to use the parenthesis so without parenthesis it's going to work and with parenthesis it's not going to work so this method is now converted to a attribute just by using this property so if i just comment this property yeah it's not going to work it says method is simple function let's grab the property so what if the user trying to change the method so let's run and yeah it says can't set the attribute so there has to be some system where we can set the attribute so that we know when the payment method is set it so let's say i am going to define another function with the same name called method and this time to make sure this is a different method i need to use another decorator which is having the same name method dot setter this method this function is actually works as a setter so now i will say self dot underscore underscore method is going to be whatever the user has given here so i will simply say met met so that there is no clash between the method and this method so met is equal to the method so now i am going to say refresh and yes you can see the actual payment method is changed because now pay dot method is using paypal so what we have achieved by using these two statements yes internally we have using we are using the functions but externally user or the implementation of this just using these method 
just as an attribute instead of a function. So this is the very useful case so that the user or the end user doesn't know the internal structure. In this way, we can actually control the setting of any payment method. So suppose user has given a method which is not we want to be set. So if I refresh, okay, this is just a gibberish. We don't want this to be set as a payment method. So what we can do, we can create some constant. So we will say methods is equal to, and now I will provide a stripe and like this, then PayPal and let's call Braintree also. Okay, so we have defined this and now I'm going to simply say on the setting part that if and now I will say met in uh, methods. So methods, if met in methods, then only I'm going to set it. Otherwise, I'm going to do nothing actually. So I'm not going to set it so let's go and yes you can see because we are using anything which is gibberish so let's try to refresh and it's not going to set the original method is stayed there but as soon as i say brain tree here and run it yes you can see brain tree is setted here so this is very useful so setting and property so one thing is still remaining which is called add method uh, method dot deleter it's again you can see it's very easy so method is a function we need to create and here we will say simply self dot underscore underscore method is going to be empty string so by using this we can just delete the method or whatever the payment method so let's say yeah it's still uh, brain tree but if I do another statement but before that I will say delete pay dot method so now you can see we don't have anything or we can say simply uh, let's print deleting okay so now run it and you can see it's a run and now payment method is simply empty so this is all about the property decorator which is having setter deleter and getter this is actually getter so this is very useful and obviously you can see the three line statement which just using method as an attribute instead of this function so if you have liked these episode please share these video with your friends like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Subscribe to this channel for more advanced tutorial on Python and we will meet in some other episode. Till then, goodbye.